Hi, thank you so much for joining me for my wig review for Lily by Sentu in the color L72 73 79R, Sandalwood Rooted. Thank you to Trenko Wigs for sending me Lily so I can review her for you. And don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at kwestwigs. So stay tuned. So let's start with the color sandalwood. So it's a light medium brown and it has some golden brown tone throughout and it gets lighter towards the tips. It's a really nice natural color. It's lifted a little bit with the golden brown so it's not too stark. I will show it outside in a minute, but let's look at the cap construction first. So we have a very deep lace front, a mono top, slight hand tight section between the mono top and the wefted sides and back. And then we have velvet covered ear tabs with metal stays in them. We have a extended nape which is also velvet covered and the bra stub like adjusters so a really nice cup construction so i find it quite comfortable to wear so i'm going to put lily on and then i'm going to talk more about her then and here's lily straight out of the box haven't really done anything to her i combed her through a little bit and plonked her on and um, i find sometimes with quite short styles that it might need a little bit of playing with it, rearranging it to, to get to the look that you want. With this one, I just found a little bit of an ear tag here, a little bit sweeping the fringe more to the side here, and I think it looks lovely. <laughs> so sometimes it just takes something like that. Sometimes you might need to trim the fringe a little bit. I think for me, at the moment, it's quite long, so I probably would cut this a little bit otherwise it would just always be in my eyes but you have a very classic yet modern stylish bob and I think it looks really natural it's a really pretty pretty style that I think will see you through the day feeling elegant and feeling put together um, and I really like this about this one. Let's look at the lace front, which I think it's quite nicely done. I probably would pluck it, but I think the way you wear it mainly is probably with the fringe down like this. So I don't really think you need to do much. Now the mono top, you can obviously part it wherever you like. And I think the moon top is really nicely done. I probably would pluck it a little bit just to open it up a little bit more. But it's personal choice. It's completely up to you if you feel it needs it or not. Um, coverage wise, the ear taps sit slightly higher on me than they normally do on other, from other um, makes. But I think the coverage overall is still quite good so let's look at Lily from all sides obviously the front my left hand side my right hand side and the back I think you could cut a blunt fringe easily which I think would give it another edgy feel to it if you don't want to cut the fringe at all because you're a bit worried about it what I tend to do with things like that I just move it back ever so slightly and then the fringe looks better so you have obviously the fringe and then you have longer layers that you know towards the back the the hair at the nape really hugs it nicely so it, there's no flipping up or anything like that the 
which I think is very useful to know. She it feels very lightweight. I mean, Sentu, I think in general, are very lightweight pieces. It's very, I would say it's low density. Um, fit wise, straight out of the box, I haven't adjusted it. It feels a little bit loose on me. I'm 21.5 circumference, so I think I would need to cinch it in to make it feel a little bit more snug. I'm going to take you outside so you can look at this color in the natural light. So I hope you enjoyed this review. The wig I was wearing at the beginning of the video is the Cassana Deluxe by Ellen Wille in the color Sand Mix. And I will review her next week. So stay tuned for that one. So hit the bell, like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at kwestwigs so you won't miss anything. Have a lovely day. See you soon. Bye.